1966's your station for health and a new form of pink eye is terrorizing Houstonians mm -hmm. and the symptoms are worse than before. Does it just make your eyes itch and burn to think about it? Ouch! Fox 26's Denise Broom is live in Southwest Houston to give us more information. What's going on with this, Denise? It sounds a little scary to be honest with you, Melissa. I've been talking to Dr. Alan Panzer this morning. He's been breaking down the severity of this, and like you were saying, it almost makes your eyes itch and burn just to hear about it. But that's why we're here to talk to him, to make sure that everybody's aware of it. Thank you so much for joining us this early. Now, you said that typically you might see pink eye maybe once or twice a month come into your office, but now sometimes you get four patients a day. Well, it's been a little unusual, and I've spoken to several of my friends across the city, and we all see pink eye. <clears throat> there are three kinds of pink eye, allergy, bacteria, and virus. We're seeing a particularly unusual strain of viral pink eye lately where people are suffering with it for two or three weeks. Now, perhaps they suffered with it for two or three weeks before, but it seems that there's a little bit more virulent strain that seems to be around. And as I said, I speak to other doctors all over the city, and they're like, Maybe it's just a coincidence, but they're saying, I'm seeing these people with their eyes <clears throat> completely shut, and they're miserable, and they're in pain, and, and I just keep hearing from relatives and people I talk to. It just, it just seems to be a little bit more so than usual. And another concern that you said you have is the treatment that you normally give these patients just doesn't even seem to be working with the specific strain. Well... We know that viruses have been around since time began, and we know they've mutated, but ordinarily I've been able to treat them with a eye wash called betadine that's used in surgery, and the reason they use it is because they know it kills everything. Well, we've washed many of these patients' eyes, and they haven't gotten better. Now, there is no treatment specifically for viral conjunctivitis. But this eye wash has worked extremely well for at least 20 years where people would be a little uncomfortable that day and get a lot better the next day. And suddenly, they're not getting any better. They're getting worse. And again, it's not the viral wash because people are coming in telling me about their grandchildren and their mothers and so on that sort of passes around. And again, that's nothing new. It just seems like there's many more of them. Wow. Well, thank you, Dr. Panzer. We will be here all morning talking about the tips to hopefully try to avoid this. If you're somebody who's even dealing with pink eye right now, how to make sure that you don't spread it because this one is even more contagious for a longer period. So we'll break down the rest of that for you throughout the morning. For now, live in Southwest Houston, Denise Broom, Fox 26 News.